I think it is a sign of worsening relations. I don't know how far it's going to go, but I think clearly Putin wants to make a point to Turkey that it cannot be business as usual. You know, earlier today, Turkey's foreign minister said Lavrov's visit would go ahead despite the downing of the plane. And I was telling France 24's viewers that this showed that both sides wanted to contain this incident uh, because the political and commercial ties between them were so strong. But if you look carefully at Lavrov's wording uh, for why he's cancelling the visit, he said, Putin said the downing of the plane could not but affect relations and therefore he was calling it off. Uh, one ugly incident has just emerged, uh, and this does put an edge on uh, the downing of the plane, and that is that Turkmen militia in Syria fired on the two Russian pilots as they were parachuting to the ground. We've seen a, a video of the militia doing this, and uh, the Turkmen militia commander Alpazlan Celik has just issued a statement saying, we shot the pilots while they were landing. Um, and he said that they are dead. Uh, now, that is against Protocol 1 of the Geneva Convention. You are not allowed to shoot at pilots as they are parachuting down. Now, what kind of mission was this plane, uh, this Russian plane on? Was it a anti-Islamic state group mission? No, the Russian Air Force has been supporting Syrian government ground forces advancing into rebel-held territory in northwestern Syria. And uh, many of the civilians there are Turkmen, ethnic Turks, but with Syrian uh, nationality. Um, and the rebels there are a mot motley group of uh, militia. Some are Islamically inclined, others uh, are linked to the Free Syrian Army, but not the Islamic State. The Islamic State does not have a presence in that corner of Syria. So Russia was not, as it claims to be, uh, fighting the Islamic State group there. It was propping up Syrian President Bashar Assad. Thank you very much, uh, Jasper. Jasper Mortimer in Ankara.